everybody. My name is Raymond Camden. I'm an evangelist for Adobe and today I'm going to show you a Chrome extension that I'm working on. So what I have is a very simple Adobe Edge animation. Uh, you can see it in that little iframe there. Let me minimize that. Uh, let me just reload. But basically it just uh, brings a square and, and, and then brings it out. So very, very simple. Uh, and it has you know Chrome and stuff around it. You can imagine this having more layout and the animation being on the middle. So the Adobe Edge Animate tool by itself is really, really good, very, very easy to use. Um, and if you have to tweak your animations and play with it, etc., in the tool, it's very, very nice. But imagine that you're at this stage where you've taken the animation, you've put it in the rest of the HTML, and you need a way to do some basic testing uh, within the context of the web page. So what I've done is built a simple Chrome extension, and you can see it's already noticing that, that there is an animation on here. Uh, if we were to go to a page without it, you can see it kind of turns off. And when I go back into it, it turns back on. So what I can actually do with this is click, and I get a list of all the animations because there could be more than one. Uh, this is kind of the default name that the uh, Edge tool gave to it. And I have a few options from here. So I can actually restart it by just clicking. And the, the tool actually introspected all of the labels in my timeline. Now in this one, I only had one label called half. And it also actually notices what uh, time that is amongst the entire thing. And I can click and run from there. And the last thing I will show you is this little scrubber here that allows me to actually very precisely go in here and you know, kind of see what's going on. And if, if this were a more complex animation, then I could kind of see, you know, oh, hey, around here it's not good, but around here it's great. I could possibly go back into the proper tool and do some tweaking there. Anyway, I hope you find this interesting.